Some podcast episodes that we have done are reasonable, mild. You can learn a thing or two, leveled. Well, this week is definitely not one of those episodes <laughs> because my guest is wild, bro. This guy is crazy. He's funny. He's scouts. He's has crazy hair. He needs subtitles when he speaks, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo! Bang, 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 bang. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bike Alex Show. Jungle is massive, bro. <laughs> Do a little favor, five star review on all of the fucking platforms. Also, weekly bonus episode, patreon.com slash bikeyanic, and much more content. My guest this week, oh, let's get into it. He has an unhealthy obsession with LeBron James. Let's see what is that all about. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the LeBron James of comedy, Kyle Legacy. Yes. Oh, blah, 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 blah. my God. That Jacob goes wild. <laughs> yes, lad. Let's go, baby. Ring a ding ding. You've got the king. What's happening? Fucking this hell, is, man. So this is sick. Thank you for letting me store my weed plants here the whole time. I appreciate that, lad. <laughs> oh, I forgot Just to mention. Just check yeah. that it's budding with sound, yeah? <laughs> Just forgot to mention, because you're very loud like me. When you laugh, bro, you laugh away from the microphone. Because oh, okay. if some people are listening on headphones, they'll be like, oh, shit, dude. Like, I thought what? podcast was freedom of speech. But no, no, dude, I guess not. No. No. Dictatorship on here, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's the bike Alex show, you know what I'm saying? Cow Legacy, how you doing, baby? What's up? Uh, I, I, I've been excited for this all day, quite frankly. I've been in the garden, doing a bit of gardening for my uncle, uh, white slavery and all that. <laughs> and um, literally, he's there, he just watches me. He just watches there on his lounge, he's drinking a beer. He's like, getting hot out here, is it, boy? I'm like, what the fuck? Dressed in all white. Yeah, exactly. With a <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. Just waving me on that. Yeah. So, and I was like, uncle, why you have a southern accent? You're from Liverpool, lad. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. you sound like you're from Alabama. What's happening here? It's like, why are you drinking iced tea? You know, you're diabetic. What are you doing? Sweet tea. <laughs> Too much sugar for you. <laughs> My dearest Annabelle. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. Uh, so it's good to be back. And you've done the glasses, man, a prescription as well. So I had to rock them. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's gonna be high energy show, yeah, exactly. Gentlemen. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, but I'm excited. Let's get riffing, baby. Yeah, you know man. I, lo- I love that we're doing the thigh show today. Oh, obviously, baby. Yeah. Yes, man. If you go to the pa- so Patreon, he's doing it without the shorts on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon. Jacob's gonna edit the shorts. Off <laughs> he's gonna blur the hopefully shorts. Hopefully, make out. the dick yeah, a bit yeah, bigger yeah. if you can in post. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, but you right. get it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get your lady viewership up. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We have that's a few, it. Yeah, like because we're very different. You know what I mean? Like if if you like like a like an Afro-y, like Jewy sort of look, you know what mm. I mean? And you've got me, haven't you? You know what I mean? Like somebody who's black, but not really black, you know mm. what I mean? Are like, you black though? No, no, no. I got all of their powers and none of their weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> so I can play basketball and I got a big dick you know what I mean it's sick <laughs> um, and then you got you on the other hand you know what I mean if you like something's in a smaller model maybe like a Dennis the Menace vibe or something like that you know what I mean like some sort of circus runner or something like that then you find, we, we've both got everything for everything ladies it's sick it is. That's why we have you here, bro, so you can bring, you know, the basketball viewership and yeah, the ladies. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would hate for LeBron James to watch this podcast and not my podcast. That would be I guarantee you LeBron James is not going to see any of our podcasts, man. Like, not a fucking chance. Like, in his mansion, he has, like, fucking... He became a billionaire recently, so I, I don't think, like, fucking local scouts, you know, in Liverpool, like, comedy scene podcast, yeah, yeah. get, like, fucking 74 views on a good day. I, I mean, who, know, who knows, you know what I mean? Like, like he, he owns some of Liverpool. He owns, like, a percentage of Liverpool, 5% or whatever. That's what helped him become a billionaire. So he probably keeps his ears to the streets, you know what I mean? I'm saying, like, like he's involved in the... The, like he watches the games, he tweets about mm. that. He went to the final in Paris. Oh, really? So maybe, I mean, oh. I don't know if he's... I don't know if he's at the local Weatherspoons having a bevy. You know what I mean? I don't know about that. But it, but he might like, you know what I mean? He might have listened to have a word or something. That's yeah. big. It's Liverpool yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. Because but... like when you said Liverpool, I thought that you mean part of the town. And I was like, does he wear like the li- own the little shitty pubs and stuff? Can you imagine like a local <laughs> Irish pub and just like LeBron? Just you walk inside, there's like pictures, portraits of LeBron James fucking everywhere. <laughs> He's like the co-owner. Him and yeah. fucking Paddy, what's his face, you know? The King's McGinnis. Arms. You think it's going to be an old pub and then it's like LeBron's photos. Yeah, like, what the, the fuck? Just a statue of King yeah, Slam yeah, dunking yeah. on a white guy, you know? Just like, uh, welcome to the King. King's Arms. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. That's what I, I thought she means. Like, fuck it out. No, imagine that. Yeah, he owns he owns five Greggs and a subway. <laughs> <laughs> but the good one is it's at the Central Station subway. So yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. He's yeah, doing well. Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. Um, but now he owns part of the team, yeah. <laughs> mm. So, okay, let's, because we started talking about him. So first of all, can we be honest? If this was reverse, if this was like, my obsession to me, uh, the I want to meet Ser- Serena Williams podcast, 
right? And you had this company. Do you want com- to? Or no, you no, just no. Start an example? Think about this. If, okay. if you wanted to meet not a basketball player, but a female yeah. athlete, and you had a hundred and something episodes so far, isn't it? Yeah, You've yeah, done yeah. on your podcast. You would therefore be on the list, mate. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> be, you'll be in jail. Like, come on. You'll be like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? That He's a stalker. Would be the creepiest. No, you'll yeah, literally yeah, sure. be like, if I started a podcast, I want to meet Serena Williams. I want to meet a heavily pregnant Wimbledon winning Serena Williams. Mm, That's what I go. want to deliver the baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then make another one, you know, like. Exactly. <laughs> Let me keep some of that placenta, please. <laughs> I put it on my face. Yeah, like yeah. A mask. Lotion, <laughs> Oh, my fucking God. No, but exactly. Jesus, I know, yeah. Man. If I was going to be, if I was like, you know what I mean? If I want to meet, like, yeah, Serena Williams or. You're on the list. I mean, now I'm blanking on female athletes' names, Same. which is Same. the worst. I know. Same. What the, Venus Williams. Um. What the fuck? Say, Chelsea uh, Grimes. WNBA um, player. Do you know any WNBA Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch there. Well, there's one. Listen, look, get this. This is fucking crazy. There's one who's still trapped in Russia. Oh, so yeah. she went out there. Oh, she took... She, Brittany Griner. Yeah, Brittany yeah, yeah. Griner. Brittany she's Brittany trying Griner. to do an exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 007, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like fucking movie <laughs> shit. Show me the next Literally. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's like they're trying, to, they're trying to get this Russian guy who's like, I don't know, fucking old school, like fucking murderer mm-hmm. or whatever. They're trying to get him out of prison for a swap. You know, yeah. they're going to meet on a bridge but, and then fucking switch like that. But you that. know what they should do? They should do the new, you know, was it Craig? What's his face of the James oh, Bond? Oh, Daniel guy? Craig, yeah. Daniel Craig, but the whole plot is they try to explain what basketball is to him because he has no, he's an English guy from Chester. You think he fucking knows? So they try no, to explain. Specifically the w, women's basketball. They try well, to explain yeah. what basketball is. So they were like, okay. And then we're like, okay, show me this player. So they show a highlight of female basketball. He's like, nah, fuck that, mate. It's proper shit. And he just fucking leaves. And the minute is like, the movie is like seven minutes. Because let's be fucking honest. I used to be a fan of basketball. Yeah. WNBA is not even close, bro, to NBA. When it comes oh, to no, like no, quality, no. are you fucking kidding me? I mean, the, 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 I mean, come on, they're, dun- they're, they're, dunk- sure. they're dunking now for sure, like they are, there's a few, but there's like, I mean, everybody in the league can dunk, like even the fucking white players in, that in the NBA can dunk, you yeah. what I'm saying, in the NBA, there's literally like, I think there's like two players in the, in, in the NBA, whole, in the whole yeah. yeah, that yeah, can yeah, dunk, yeah. you know what I mean, obviously it is a different level, and they complain about like not getting paid as much, but it's like, your season only goes for like six weeks a year, mm. uh, two months a year. Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, nobody's watching it, so yeah. you can't. Like, that's how they make all the money is off the yeah. viewership and the sponsorships and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's why the men get paid a bunch. And, like, the men go there and they support it. Some of them are, like, some of them are funny, like, like uh, bo- Boogie Cousins. They, they call him the emotional lesbian. Hold on, what? The who? Bo- uh, Demarcus Cousins. Boogie Cousins, his Boogie. name is. And his other nickname is the emotional lesbian. I don't know why, <laughs> but, it, but it is. <laughs> but he was... Like, he, he was roasting them. He was like, there's no way none of them could beat me and all mm. that sort of shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a great movie called Joanna Man. Oh, Have I know you seen that. Joanna Man? Yes. Of course I've seen it. That's the best movie of all time. Let's cancel this fucking show. I'm sick and tired of doing podcasts anyway. Let's cancel my career. <laughs> Let's put that on, yeah. <laughs> put that, pull it up. And uh, yeah, do you so, want so to he, he pretends to be a woman, doesn't he? He pretends to be a woman, doesn't he? In the, like he gets, he was in the, he was in the NBA. Then he gets suspended, don't he? Because he's like, he's like a bad boy a bad or whatever boy. and stuff. He mm. He's not a team player, so he puts a wig on. That's it. I don't that's think he does movie. any other makeup does or not like that. Movie. He yeah. just puts a he wig just on. Shaves, oh, and then puts he puts like fake titties. Yeah, and then. And then he's just dominating, isn't he? And then the yeah. ball, and, but then he actually becomes a team player, and then he's good. And so he falls in love in with one end. of the yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, he's in the team showers with them, yeah, the yeah, yeah. with a full on kid, by the way, while yeah, he's showing yeah. like a oh, full yeah, on is, yeah. uniform. <laughs> they're like, Joanna, don't you want to take some stuff off now? I feel comfortable this yeah, way. Yeah, it's yeah. Just like, okay, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, man. Yeah. And that was like early, maybe two, the year two thousand. And that was Probably. like, I, I've seen that movie when I was a teenager. I was like, that's the most funny thing ever. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I get you couldn't do it. Stays, could you? Oh no, because it's real, because it's happening in real yeah, life. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's not a movie. Yeah, exactly. It used to be a comedy just, plot 20 years ago. That's a documentary. <laughs> 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 to be honest with you, how about this? How about I have an idea to make the WNBA more watchable? How about when a male athlete retire, he needs to do three year mandatory service in WNBA? So when they, uh, so Michael Jordan, uh, Michael Jordan, like LeBron James, when they retire, they just put a wig on, take a few hormones, and just do three years in WNBA. And then you are telling me you're not gonna watch? You are telling me if LeBron James, like three years from now, just fucking, ah, it's too much for you now, didn't you? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Come I'm, on, I'm on board. I'd actually be able to wank over them, and it wouldn't be this gay anymore. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like that's a nice loophole for me. That's great. That is. Because uh, uh, now I've got his poster on my wall, you know what I mean? It is a bit weird when I'm wanking. Yeah, not yeah, necessarily yeah. about him, imagine, but he's watching me. Im- <laughs> but I'm saying, if, if if it's a female, then it's like, you know what I mean? You just play yeah. that. Oh, I didn't realize card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're telling me you're not going to watch if LeBron James go and do three-year oh, mandatory sure, service. Yeah. yeah. So take over. I mean, it, 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 
Oh, well, it might be detrimental to his legacy. Again. Well, not really, because he's going to be dominating. He's going to be MVP every year. But not year, only that, yeah. no. Plus, he'll get some good points, you know? Because, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, look, he's helping the female sports That's and, it, you know, yeah, exactly. representation for trans athletes and stuff. You're yeah. telling me, Alan Iverson, I don't even know where he is, probably fucking, he, he retired ages ago. He, oh, yeah. He was working, he was not working, he was playing in Turkey, I think, like, when he retired from the NBA. Oh, for sure, yeah. But if they bring him back, you're telling me you're not going to watch a 50-year-old Alan Iverson <laughs> just like, bah, 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 you know? <laughs> oh, yes, I'm loving it. Sla what are you on about? Yeah, he's he just like, shoved him on for offense. He can't even play, he can't even running up and down a court. He no. can't even play defense. Yeah, yeah. He just comes shoving him in and out Mate, like that. It's WM Nobody plays defense. Let's be fucking yeah. honest. Like, come on, let's know we can fuck about. I mean, we can play pretend that as good as the male yeah, yeah, basketball, yeah. but it's just not. Cause I and listen, I know because I used to be a massive basketball fan and I trained exactly, for four yeah. years. Yeah. Nobody plays defense. Oh, yeah, WNBA, yeah, yeah. They don't give a fuck. Oh, for sure. No. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, especially like the all-star games and all that sort of stuff. It's literally only till playoffs time teams mm. lock in. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, Before yeah. that, it's like there's 82 games in a regular season. Nobody you know what I mean? They're telling me they're going hard every game. Nah. Maybe no. Michael Jordan, LeBron back in the day. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, because they're nah. fucking psychos. Exactly. Did you watch the last dance? The, of course. The, yeah, it was how, how fucking good it was it? I, lo I loved it. Like literally, it, it, it made me get a pair of Jordans and that because <laughs> I, 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 I was always LeBron over uh, LeBron over Jordan. I still am. Like you can't even have that con the discussion till they retire. I reckon. You know what I mean? Because LeBron's still mm -hmm. playing, so he's still adding to his accolades okay. or whatever. Um, but then the last dance, yeah, that, that made me like love because because I mean it's before it's before my era, isn't it? How you old are I mean? you though? So, what year? Thirty. Thirty, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like okay. I was born. I was born when Michael Jordan won his first championship. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's so like you don't remember I, much. I, I, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like eight yeah. by the mm. time he in '98 when he retired. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? I mean, he so, retired in 2003, but the last three well, seasons. But he came back. The Wizards. Yeah, yeah. That didn't make the last dance for a reason. Oh no, no. Did you realize? Did you see how that didn't even like? Oh, they never played again. <laughs> that's it. They're talking about the Bulls, the good old days, yeah, the yeah, red yeah. uniforms, that's it. The Wizards, no. It was like, no, no, fuck that. You exactly. Know, the last three years, yeah, they were not good. But like, I grew up because my uncle was a massive basketball fan and this is how I got into it. And yeah. I remember Michael Jordan after he retired, I watched a lot of games and stuff. Yeah, of course. But for me, he is one of my favorite players because like, he was so, he was insane, bro. Like his obsession oh, with yeah. basketball. And you know what I didn't like? There was backlash after the documentary. People were like accusing him that he was bullying people, you know, from his team and stuff. Yeah. Because he was too, I was like, yeah, motherfucker, he got six championships. He's got, it worked. What do what you, you want? About? Yeah, exactly. You want to fucking win? And Steve Kerr, who's the coach of Golden State, the one that actually punched. Yeah. Like if you're yeah, going to yeah, pick, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're picking on him. He's like the smallest guy mm. in the fucking league or whatever. Yeah. Even he would never say a bad word about Michael to this day. He was like made him the man that he was, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm loving this podcast, by the way. <laughs> All basketball, this is okay. sick. Yeah, just <laughs> bit of football in there. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't watch football. Ah, okay, I can't, yeah. can't be bothered. I don't know anything about it. I only watch like World Cup because it's geography and sports into one. Oh, and that's the only way I can get emotional. Yeah, yeah. You're Emo literally looking at flags. You're like, I've never seen oh, this flag mate, before in my life. Don't, we play that game with Liam Tuffy. If he starts pulling flags, you'll be like, oh, something's wrong with you, yeah, lad. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I know most of the flags in the world. I'm just Bulgaria like, bah, in the bah, World bah, Cup. Bah. Bulgaria, mm, 94. So 94, we became fourth in the world. That is really? Our, yeah, that's, that's the biggest, sick, that. yeah, biggest accomplishment. Are you in it this year? Nah. Oh, we haven't qualified since fucking 98. Uh, okay. <laughs> we had, then, yeah, we yeah. had one and that's it. We don't need that's no more. Because you know, the thing is, if we have more, we, we'll do worse. So we're just like, oh, we did our best. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. You know, you smash the gig, I'm never doing another one. You know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pinnacle, right? If, if, if you wasn't a comedian, if you could choose to be a professional athlete in any sport, what would it be then? Well, I played basketball, so I was delusional enough that I wanted to become a yeah, professional yeah, yeah. basketball player. You know, okay. I was but good, I mean, but like... It's... I mean, I'm a fairy godmother, but I mean, like, <laughs> a, a rainy wishing, for fuck's sake. Make it a bit realistic. Like, I'm 6'1", I'm coming off the bench. You're fucking five foot nothing. You really think you're going to be a professional athlete? <laughs> Even the fairies, like the genies, come like on, lad. come on, run it back, lad. Come what on, are we lad. doing here? Yeah. I can give you a bit of extra exactly, dick or something, yeah. but like, come on, you know, know. I'm not making you NBA exactly, player. Exactly, like. yeah. I, do. I, do <laughs> I know it's all make believe, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if there was like Aladdin, that would be the best movie ever. Just like the genie comes up and he was like, oh, I want to be a prince and the girl to fell in love with me. He was like, lad, come on now. <laughs> come on, lad. I'm thinking more like a Lamborghini or something like I that. I can give you, know you 50 I mean? quid, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, that's the best I can do. <laughs> that would be like the best movie ever. Just like, come on, lad, I'm not fucking Yeah, you know? exactly. And the movie's like seven minutes and just boop, that's it. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> that's it. He goes to him, buy some shit from the market and goes, Yeah, up. yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, um, oh, well, I can give you anything on Groupon. Um, <laughs> I can give you some discount codes, but I mean, that's it. That's all I can do, really. <laughs> so tell me then, what captivates you so much about LeBron James then
Well, I mean, I'm a big basketball fan, you know what I mean? Big, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. sports in my life, really, you know what I mean? Basketball, really? football, really. Like, mm. um, but I mean, I, I was gambling on horses today. I'm Jesus a big, I know, it's a Christ. slippery slope now because I need money. I'm you're broke suppo- as fuck. You pretend to be black, and so come on, you cannot be gambling uh, no. <laughs> on horses, lad. What are you doing? That's some white people. Well, shit. I just need. Well, well, no, 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 but the. the, the, the no, but the, 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 the horse's name was called King's Crown. Oh, come on. So, fuck come on. Up. Come did on. You win, if did that's you win? not a. Did you no. Win? I thought I did, but I don't know how it works. So, so, so I'm like going, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I call me cousin. I'm like, we're fucking, I'm back, baby. Yeah. And then, and then it, 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 it was meant to, it came third. It was meant to come second. It was yeah. each way. So I thought it was place. Yeah, anything yeah. but yeah so it's <laughs> have you ever won have you ever bet on a sport and you won oh, of something of course I mean really? that's how I make I mean I'm full time comedy but I make most of my money off gambling you know what I mean like <laughs> For sure. Degenerate gamblers yes. slash comedian. Kyle the horses, Lee. I never do them, like, you know what I mean? But I'll bet <laughs> yeah. on it. I've bet on fucking ping pong. I've bet, oh. on, I've bet on the WNBA as well. It's got that oh, bad. God, yeah, exactly. Jesus. The end result that's always like... good for an under. Put it that way, that's an under. You know, betting on over on points there, <laughs> lad. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dribbles and assists. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The, the, just fucking three points. Listen, dude, if I want to see dribbling assists in three points, I'm just going to watch white guys play basketball. Yeah. Like, what are we doing over here? I'm not watching for fucking three pointers, guy. Larry. Go fuck yourself. There's a reason that it's a dunk comp and not a layup competition. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, layups, dude. I'm gonna watch me play basketball. Like because the point guards in WNBA, they're genuinely five feet. Some of them, they're like so small. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, Muxy Bogues, you've had a Muxy Bogues. Uh, yeah, you remember five him? Yeah, so I mean, come on, he's the. How, how, tall, how tall are you? Because when you were walking to this podcast, I, I didn't know. I didn't know if you were close or far away. <laughs> That's how fucking small he was. I was like, he's two minutes away. He's he's, he's at least five miles away. Oh shit, he's in front oh, of me. Right I'm oh, sorry, man. <laughs> sorry, lad. <laughs> five three uh, in real life. Five four on a good day. Five six on Tinder. Five six on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, but but look back to your question. Yeah, I, yeah, go on. Look, when I got into yeah. basketball, like. Obviously, you know what I mean? Like 2002 or whatever, started playing and watching wow. it. Like someone gave me a name, um, like me, me uncle came back from New Jersey and he taped like the finals, the 2002 finals, the New Jersey versus Lakers, I believe it was. Oh, the and, Nets um, and the Lakers, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Lakers yeah. were, I mean, Shaq was just dominating. Yeah, Shaq they had four Kobe. people hanging on him. Yeah. He's like, get off me. You know, the thing is, I kind of feel sorry because uh, 76ers were in 2001 with Alan Iverson. Yeah. 2002 was the New Jersey Nets. And those two teams, they've never been to the finals, I think, since. Or maybe like the new era, but back in those oh, days. Yeah, for and sure, I kind yeah. of feel sad for them because that was like their only chance. And yeah. they met a team, I mean, Shaq and Kobe. Well, this, I mean, look at Michael Jordan. How many ring, How many people did he stop getting a ring? Utah you know Jazz I mean? like, as well. The only yeah. time they've been on the final, oh, yeah. Utah Jazz. I felt so sorry for oh, them because no. that was like their golden team. Oh, Malone for sure. And I, mean, like, I mean, yeah, Stockton and Malone, the best people yeah. Yeah, yeah, player yeah. of all time. Because the thing is, I was a... So I love the Port... Portland Trail Blazers back in the day in the 90s, late 90s and early 2000s. Like, oh, like Drexler and Drexler stuff. Like that, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Rashid Wallace and stuff. Nice. Uh, my favorite basketball player is Damon Stoudemire. Really? Yeah, he was the That's guard. That's a niche reference, yeah. that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mighty wow. Mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was straight from high school, was he? If yeah. from memory, yeah. I think he so. He was, them, was the yeah. po- he was the point guard of the yeah, Trail yeah, Blazers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, most people don't even know about him, but I really liked him. And I also liked the Detroit Pistons in the two- mid-2000s era when they became champions in oh, 2004. Oh, yeah, they were, they were stacked. But then, I yeah. felt sorry for uh, Portland because they always played the Lakers on like finals or yeah. playoffs, always, and they always got demolished. Yeah, always. Yeah, exactly. And I always like, fuck it, Kobe at the last second, man. Always oh, my, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, like, I mean, they were stacked at young Kobe as well, but yeah. they still had, I mean, they had Phil Jackson, they had it all. And Unbelievable. It, you know I mean? yeah, Unbelievable. Crazy. That's the thing, though. When you have a team like that and all the stars are there, you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah. You know? I, I love Port- Portland's got some sick jerseys because their nickname's Rip City. Yeah. So that looks sick mm-hmm. on a jersey, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I love the, the Denver one because it says Mild High on it. Uh, so I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, sick. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I haven't watched basketball in ages. Oh, Mile Is- High, sorry, Mile High. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is there any basketball courts in here where you can just walk in and play in Liverpool? Uh, oh yeah, well I mean I play at, like I play for my team, so I play on Monday nights if I'm not gigging. Well, the season hasn't started yet. I'll start like in, in July, on, but I, have, like, I play I play Thursdays at um, at uh, Holly Lodge. Then Friday I play in Greenbank, and mm-hmm. then I'll probably play. To, I'm playing tomorrow day, and then I'm playing tomorrow day uh, Thursday day with Thomas Green. Do you know him, the Australian comedian? He no, opened for no. Adam Rowe and that, no, nah. No, no, he no. randomly, he's in town. I mean, I've seen his shoes. name, but I don't know yeah. him. Oh, yeah, but you know, yeah, yeah. So he randomly plays, so play at the Caribbean Centre in, in talk stuff, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I mean, it's, I mean, obviously, like, fucking, Eng- it's England, and it's, it's not like, in Australia and America and stuff, you can rock up, you'll get four on four half court, you know what I mean? I got next, but mm. here it'll be like, 
you might get some two on two, but I just yeah. go there to get the drunk scouts. So just yeah, yeah. For Renault, you know, exactly. Like, yeah, they didn't make the football team. They just go. Uh, no, yeah, they're like, oh, let's get a shot. I'm like, here you go. It's a miss coming my way. You know what I mean? But then Friday we play full court, and then Thursday is trade, and then full court. Yeah. So you just have to pay for like an arena or something to play. Uh, yeah, they, like... the lads organize it with a bunch of group chats, and it's a five quid. Yeah. Ah, yeah. but there's no courts like because in Bulgaria we play. You know, in the school when they finish school in the yeah. basketball courts, you just walk oh, there is a few. Yeah, there's. I mean, like, and even um, in in. I go to the university, of the the UD of Liverpool. Mm, you can uh, play. play there, yeah, on Saturdays, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. interesting. Because I bought me, especially when I'm in Australia, I'm playing every day, me. Yeah, like yeah, I play yeah. like like for like four hours every day, then a gig of a night. Yeah. Jesus man, I know. so you're proper into it then. The oh, for sure, stuff, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, that used to be my fucking life before comedy and that. Same. Like it was basketball. Yeah, like I yeah. played for my university, went for a year in America, played there and all like that. I really? mean, fucking blew up my knee or shit. You know what I mean? Oh, like, so, Jesus man. Um, but yeah, that was it. I had hoop dreams, lad. Yeah, I really man. did. I don't know. Did you ever got some money for it? Would you ever? Did you make the level? Where oh you no, were nothing like money? that. I mean, I don't like. I was like, oh, referee, and they pay me referee, and <laughs> like I got my my, my BBL co like coaches badges and all that. But yeah, never. Never paid. To that play is the now. saddest white basketball oh, yeah, story yeah, yeah. of all time. Yeah, lad, I was a fucking referee. I was a commentator. I was, you know, mopping the floor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They the closest I the whistle. Yeah, that's the closest <laughs> I got to basketball in money. <laughs> My mate plays now, David Ulf. Shout out to him. He, so um, he plays for uh, Manchester Jets now. Yeah, so he gets paid to play. He's still got a, a, a full time job, but he'll get he gets yeah. paid to play. Yeah, like yeah. A, wow, I had no idea that there's like a basketball, like amateur basketball league in the UK. Yeah, BBL. I had no idea. Yeah. Uh, Liverpool used to have it. Uh, Liverpool still got a team, uh, Liverpool Basketball Club, and um, and then they used to be the Everton Tigers. Everton bought Toxteth Tigers and that. Yeah, <laughs> used to play in Green Bank and that. Yeah, wow, Sick, amazing. Mm -hmm. We should go and play some sometime in the like open courts and stuff. Oh, I, I'm down I, for that for I sure. I haven't played basketball in 13 years. Oh yeah, but let's get some shots up. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'll film it for, for the sure. Patreon. I'll film it for the Patreon. Oh, you just yes. slam dunking on me. Coming lad. out of retirement, so let's do <laughs> it. Yes, you know, let's 13 go, years later. Yeah, man. Fuck it. I want to. Should do we it. dress up as women as well and do the WNBA? <laughs> Should we? I reckon we should. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Put a wig on, just fucking. But you know that? No, I'm scared because if we dress as women and we film that, and if I put it on the internet, they'll be like, "Oh, these girls can therefore hoop." Let's get them to the fucking to exactly. the states. They're gonna draft us, and then you know we're gonna, and then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to move. You're gonna have to leave your girlfriend. Yeah, you know what man. I mean? It's gonna be like a whole thing. Yeah, it's gonna it? be fucking difficult. Six one. They did. How many girls do you think they have? Like six one in the WNBA, probably like four. No, no, know? there's a few more than that. Fuck <laughs> you, is it? They're not just letting anybody walk off the street to play. Can you, it's not like... Can you imagine? <laughs> they got proper hoops and all that. You know what I mean? It's not like they're playing football with jumpers as goalposts or whatever. You know what I mean? Like... Do you think they should lower the hoop then? Uh, no, they've got a smaller ball. But is the hoop is the same? The hoops the same, yeah. Mm, I think the same should... around the world. I think foot. they should lower it. But it nah. to be like literally, like just, just like this fucking top, so people just tomahawk. It started off. Shit. We were trying to do so much for women's sports. Now, <laughs> now we've set them back at least ten years on this podcast. <laughs> oh, I don't know, bro. I, I, you I'm should so get fifteen points every shot. <laughs> If somebody dunks at 100 points and they get the, the championship that are there, even if it's the first game of the season. Because <laughs> uh, Jacob, he doesn't follow basketball, so he doesn't know any of the references. So yeah, he yeah. doesn't even know. Oh, he's, like, like, he's, like, he's like, you got a 50 point. Like, fuck it, yeah. Jacob's got to gamble on this later and be like, he's fucked me. <laughs> While we're talking, Jacob, can you pull up? There was a statistic of how many dunks in the history of WNBA. Let's try to guess before he pulls up. Do you think it's? I think it's double digits. There's no way that's triple. I'm thinking maybe like. No, nah, no. Nah, I reckon. I reckon. I think I know. I think. I think it's. Um, there's 40. been two. That I reckon it's about on average maybe two. A, let me figure out the maths. Maybe two a season, and it, and the season's only been going. I reckon. Rain under man twenty. I, I reckon under twenty. Under twenty for the whole history. Are players or dunks? No, no dunks in the oh, history okay. of oh, WNBA. Oh, that's tall. Yeah. Oh, well, then a fucking other all because um, Brittany Grinder who can dunk, she might dunk. Maybe like every two games. Not so, anymore. So maybe. Not, Not anymore. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the Russian prison cell. Yeah. It's That's... like real life. It's like Space Jam, you know, when they captured captured yes! Michael Jordan, made yes! a play. That's what they're probably doing now. They're probably making a play, wearing a UK Ukraine jersey. <laughs> And all these kids are just dominating her or whatever. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck it out. But I reckon, I reckon, actual dunks. I still reckon under a hundred. I reckon, I reckon eighty. I'm gonna say eighty to ninety. Okay, I'm gonna seventy say, to eighty. Seventy to eighty. I'm gonna yeah. say forty to fifty. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. <laughs> There's no way. What? 
Only 28 dunks have been scored. Oh my God, he's right, yeah. Because go down through the players, and they'll be under 10. Lisa Leslie, she's a legend. Dude. Seven players in total. Seven, that's what I, that's what I thought you meant, under 10, yeah. Okay, also. Go to the new one. Go to the, the go fuck? right to the end, because the new one will be, Brittany Griner will be there. <laughs> the new one. <laughs> there's, no, there's a new, Liz Cambridge, she's Australian, keep going. And then there's one more. <laughs> oh, she was the last new one to, yeah. Damn, Ooh. that's crazy. I though. like, you know that they have a small amount of I mean, of they've dunks. dunked more than me. <laughs> yeah, I give them that. And more than me, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. But so. no, listen to this. You know it's a small amount when you're like, oh, go down, that's the latest one. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. What the fuck, I know. Man? That's crazy. But you know the thing is, the reason they don't rescue her, because she was very, I think, anti-American, like she was talking shit about America. Was that she? Was her thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh. Yeah, I think especially when Trump was on and stuff. Ah, yeah, so probably, he was, yeah, she was going sure. hard well, in the athlete, so yeah, hard in the Trump, paint. Yeah. She was going hard oh, in the yeah, paint, yeah, pun yeah. intended. And then she was like, you know, and then, you know, she went to Russia for some reason, maybe like to play. No, she was playing there because so, they then, only have the two month season. So a lot of them make most of their money in Europe. And then, you know what I mean? So she'd be living like a, a queen and, and like she'd be the face of, you know what I mean? Like women's basketball oh, there mate, and yeah, stuff like, like that. You can, she'd with, be getting paid better money there than the WNBA oh, mate, for sure, with, yeah. With 100 dollars in Russia, you can live like a queen, yeah. Oh, so yeah, for sure, Her yeah. salary from the WNBA, mm. she'll fucking be born yeah, out so of control. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on now. I, I don't know if, because I haven't read into it that much, to be honest. I don't know if she's like, she's just living a normal life there and she can't leave Maybe. or she's actually like in a prison can cell. Like, I don't know, you know Can what you mean? imagine? That's a fucking tall prison cell, that. But then, but then there's it can't, no Russians. It can't, it can't. They, they're, they're short, bro. They're my people. They're like they're from my part of the world. We're all short. You can, you, we get these two together. And you gotta lie down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way we can do fucking it. Fucking hell, man. That's a fucking tall. It, it can't be huh? that because it, like there's NBA games. You'd think they'd be talking about it more on the finals and all that. You know what I mean? Or le maybe legally they can't. I don't know, but. Um, she must be. She must be. She just can't get home. You know what I mean? I just I guess, like but. how America's like, meh. You know, like what can you do? You know. Yeah, but maybe. if that was an NBA player, I think they'll be like, "Well, lads, listen, send on oh, SWAT sure. team, oh, the forces, on, the they'd military." They'd go on strike with the NBA. Oh, yeah, they the do all that sort of stuff Everything. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, listen, WNBA, they might be on strike, but who the fuck know? You know, no, nobody no, watches no. it. <laughs> nobody watches. Who the fuck knows, bro? Oh, we're going hard in the paint this episode. I love it. <laughs> they on strike for twenty five years. <laughs> who the fuck knows, bro? Listen, we're gonna do That's Instagram so reels, funny, yeah. just trashing WNBA for I an know, hour. Yeah, I'm gonna tag them as well. Gonna tag. I'm gonna Google them because nobody. Fucking knows who these women Jesus. are. Let's be fucking honest. <laughs> How the fuck's Britney Grant? They're gonna see it in Russian prison. <laughs> we put Russian subtitles. Do you think they get Wi Fi there? They don't <laughs> even have 4G in fucking Russia. What are you all about? We put the Russian subtitles so the guard can be like, I think uh, they're yeah, talking yeah. about you, you know? <laughs> have a look. Uh, Britney. He's like, You play basketball? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no wonder you're so tall, you know? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tried to make like WNBA jokes before with another guest, but they didn't know basketball, so I literally just. Oh, you have they to didn't. Get it, yeah. they just I mean, these are very niche, but I love it, yeah. Yeah, they just changed the subject now is like I'm gonna wait for Carl Legacy when, exactly. you're, back, when you're back from Australia mm -hmm. you know <laughs> alright so listen to this mate tell me Australia is it a real place is it a hologram what the fuck's happening over there is it a real place <laughs> Australia <laughs> is it a, there's no way there's the new conspiracy so what do you know I get, you, you know neighbours you know home and away and you probably know the opera house don't you I guess uh, yeah it looks like it looks like a bunch of dishes stack up on the fucking yeah 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 I love that yeah, that's, I mean fuck their culture <laughs> It looks like it looks like somebody just done all the dishes. Yeah, literally, literally. There's like a meme and stuff. That's where I saw clean bro. dishes though. Clean, of course, clean. clean. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who the fuck stacks dirty dishes? What type of psycho? You know what I'm saying? I, I've been there. I saw Dave Chappelle <laughs> in the Opera House. Really? I, 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 and he paid he paid the the, the fine to smoke. So mm. whatever that is, twenty grand probably. You know, fine for smoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just paid Jesus it, and he was Christ. like, "I'm gonna smoke." That's an and, addiction, um, though, you know. And then yeah, he was doing all that, and then it, 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 like it, at the start, he was like, "Cause everybody was like, I'm rich, bitch, I'm rich, Jay." Yeah. Everybody yeah, was like, "If you keep doing that, I'm kicking you out." And I was like, "Oh fuck, all right." Um, and now he just had no phones and all that. There you go. Oh, what the fuck? Look at it. Oh, that, what the hell? <laughs> Have you seen this? Oh, I thought that was a riff. No, no, nah, bro, I'm not as good as you. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, you dog, you <laughs> bastard, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm not, come on, dude. I'm not, I'm no, not, but that's great. Bro, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, no Ka, I'm no Kyle Legacy. What are you talking about? You, you know, know Riff saying? Richards, Riff Clyro. I, I do it, but you know, like. Riff Richard Pryor. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I have. Yeah, to know, I, done, I done a story last night. It wasn't a joke. I done a story about Amsterdam, and everybody was in shock. I got off stage. They were like, even you were like feeling my pulse. You were like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're yeah, sick, lad. Exactly. You're the king of fucking riffing. <laughs> no, I don't know why. That's why we love you, because like, you, you just. Was it a jokes of a cruise? Jokes of a cruise ships, <laughs> that, baby. That, yeah, that's for cruise ships. That's, it. that's why we all love you because you're fucking psycho. It just goes out there. The MC done like a half an hour. Just 
all the juice is squeezed out of the audience and he goes, so you already a lot. And he just, it's like, <laughs> he just talked to me for 15 minutes. You yeah, know? Yeah, he yeah. just like keeps on going. Well, that's like, why I like, you're crazy, I like bro. Paul Smith, for example, you know what I mean? He's the rich man's car legacy and he really, but he, <laughs> he uh, the ginger beat all of them. I'm doing two shows with him tomorrow. So no, I do. like it because like, obviously he's doing a lot of crowd work, but he, he plants the seeds. So I'm like, like I'll, I'll find out some stuff because you're not getting everything off something, you know what I mean? He, mm. I might have to have a different angle, you know what I mean? You'll be like, oh, what do you do? Get nothing. Uh, I do the same. Oh, I'll go to the next person. Boom. So he'll plant the seeds or set them up and I knock them down, you know what I mean? I mm. mean, he's crushing harder than me, but I'm saying like, yeah. he, I'm getting the intel. So I'm not going up there blind necessarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can build off his mm. his questions, you know what I mean? His yeah. answers and shit like that. I can even build off his riff. Like I, I, I've been on before where he's riffed and then I'll come on and continue that riff, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Mm. but a different angle obviously, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, but that's what I do on this podcast, to be honest with you. I'm more like I'm the Ali up guy and the guest don't sit. Usually, yeah, yeah, that's I it. don't try to like outshine the guest. I mean, you're stuck that I'm alone. Is that what you're saying? That's it, bro. We're, I love that. <laughs> you're I'm, Wade. I'm LeBron. Yeah, bro. We're both black. You're we're both I'm basketball Brittany players. Grady, you're some other woman. Russian, Russian guy. I'm the prisoner. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the, the prison guard. guard. I'm the prison guard. <laughs> Throwing <laughs> <of> the slops. <laughs> you stay here, Eat Brittany. Yeah, you're yeah. not going anywhere, Brittany. You talk shit about America. They don't care about you anymore. Eat goulash, goulash. Here you goulash. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having you back. She's eating good. She's eating good. Goulash. What are you talking about? I'm having uh, you back yeah, on, so bro. You're funny. Australian, it's, 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 I mean, I mean, it's kind of like, I mean, it's still another English-speaking country, obviously. I mean, like, can't understand what I'm saying there, but, and then, uh, it's oh, like, hold it's on, kind are we of talking a, about Russia, Australia? Where Australia, we sorry. Okay, okay, let's yeah. go back to Australia. Okay, okay. Um, so it's kind of a mix between England and America. So you've got, like, mm. you've got, it's Americanized in terms. You've got 7-Elevens everywhere. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Stuff oh, wow. like that. And their currency is dollars. It's Australian dollars, oh, but it's dollars. You know but what I mean? But they have a kangaroo so. some shit like that on the money. No, they got the queen oh, on there. Jesus Because it's Commonwealth. Christ. Oh, they do have some kangaroos on the, on the money though <laughs> as well. Yeah, they actually do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's horrible. Um, they got <laughs> some horrible. kangaroos, some wombats and stuff like that. Um... And then, yeah, so, and then it's English in terms of, like, well, I mean, fucking, we used to own the country. You know what I mean? It's no, like, all the prisoners are there. Like, yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. It, yeah. it, 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 that's why I got in without a visa, because I'm like, I'm scouts, what are you on? I've got a record, let me <laughs> I'm in. I'm prisoner, lad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm prisoner, lad. I'm feeder in a paddy, a, a paddy wagon, let me in. That's what you're on, man. Yeah, so, so it, it, like, obviously, you know what I mean? There's, like, especially Perth. Perth's, like, Little Britain. Mm. Everybody's English. They're all scouts is there and oh, stuff wow. like that. So it's not uncommon. And I'll go on stage and somebody will heckle me like, where's me hub caps? Like getting heckled from the 80s. It's like, you haven't been in England oh, since okay, the 80s. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. the oldest scouts heckle Jesus, ever. Man. Like, I'm, I'm stealing your phone now. I'm not stealing your fucking radio now, you <laughs> dickhead. Um, so, so it, and it's sick, you know what I mean? So it is like, obviously everybody speaks English. Like comedy is is quite new there compared to here. You know what I mean? Comedy's been around here for mm. forever, it? You know what I mean? Oh, there, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is, it's quite yeah. new. So the average comedy goer is maybe like, it's a bit inside baseball, but if there's any comics that they'll be, they'll take take note, the, the, the average comedy person's probably like once a year there to maybe hear it's like three times a year mm. or something if that you know what i mean like I've, i i i used to meet people to this day where you're like oh that was my first show first time i've seen like really Fuck yeah it up. literally Jesus maybe not man. so much here but in australia that happens so much they were like that was sick i've never been to a comedy show before i'm like what you know you're in your fairies you've yeah. never been well, to listen, a live comedy yeah. show yeah well they have good weather when you have good weather you don't need comedy I mean, even Think now, co that. comedy is taking a hit with the with the with, oh, the, yeah. with the light nights now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, somewhere true. because of global warming, somewhere is like thirty degrees now in yeah. this year. And it's like three months. Like fucking, we're gonna this industry is gonna collapse. Exactly. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Literally. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but then but uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. You don't have to keep saying that. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I'm listening. <laughs> Some of it I don't know what I'm saying, but I'll just go with it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> I don't understand half. All I've heard is WNBA, this whole podcast, quite frankly. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> what are you uh, saying? I know, I'm you. <laughs> um, so, but then, but then on the other side, they have the second biggest comedy festival in the world. After Just for Laughs, they got the international, Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Mm. Like Edinburgh's a fringe, you know what I mean? It's a comedy yeah, festival, yeah. but it's a fringe. So Edinburgh's the big, so it's Just for Laughs. And then, oh, Melbourne could be the biggest. Mm. So you're getting like the James A. Casters, you're getting the Sloss, you're getting yeah, the Carl Legacies, nice. the big names, yes, you know what I mean? Yes, lad. Um, Search yourself in so, there, good so, for Mark. So I go myself. every year and I follow the festival circuit, so I do the pair fringe world. Then everybody goes to Adelaide. Adelaide. I fucking hate Adelaide, but they hate me, so it's sound. And then I go to Melbourne, then I go to Sydney, and then I just do clubs in between. Like the way I'm based in Liverpool, but I got a fucking like Manchester or mm. London or whatever, you know but, what I mean? But Shit the like cities, that. they're like very far apart, aren't they? Yeah, but they all have their own. Like, so Sydney, they have like, you got a, a, an hour and a half here in Wollongong. There's a few shows there, mm.
you have to fly. Like I done a show in Exmouth. That's proper Australia. Like you're mm. off the grid as soon as you land. You know really? what I mean? Like yeah. Jesus. But the whole town comes, so it's sick. Oh yeah. Like yeah. I done a show there, and like fucking a hundred people came. Like the whole, you know what I mean? Like it's sound because they don't get comedy there, so they love it more. Like. I'd rather do, obviously the city gigs are sick because you're in the city and the clubs look good, great lighting and mm. all that, but I'd rather do the bum fuck nowhere gigs because that's where the people come up to you, shake your hand, buy you a bevy, yeah. take a photo with you, oh, actually nice. follow you on Instagram, you know what I mean? Like in the city, there's too much com competition, they don't give a yeah, shit. Of course you know what I mean? Yeah, because they have so set, much entertainment. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Thank you. Um, so like even last night, you know what I mean? Because I hand out my stickers, don't I? You know what I mean? With my podcast and all that stuff on, like I was doing it last night. Some people grab them, everybody be grabbing, like lining up to grab them here. They're like, whatever, you know what I mean? Like they probably throw them away as soon as they get outside or some yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. But um, how, how many times have you been to Australia now? Fucking hell, I don't even know now. How many, how many times? I mean, I've been started, I went for the first time in like 2000. 14 i guess jesus yeah Christ. so i've been going a while so like, you have like mates and connections there but then and... when i first went there i didn't have it wasn't for comedy it was just there because my mum moved managed in australia oh really so, so i got the visa oh. so my mum was like check it out and i was the same as you all i knew was home and away fucking neighbors in the opera house because i'd seen mm. on tv yeah, yeah, yeah. she lived in perth so i just went straight to sydney because i knew the opera house i was like oh i'll just go there let me check out the dishes in exactly it. yeah let me you <laughs> know what i mean let me let me <laughs> fucking um see a bit of personal or whatever but <laughs> which is your favorite city from um, which Sydney uh, uh, used to be Sydney, but it's Perth, which is weird mm. because it is small. And when I say Perth, I was like Perth, but it's like Little Britain. You know what I mean? I've, I've got a lot of mates there. They got some great comedy clubs there and that, so I like it there personally. Yeah, yeah. it's a good size city for me. Like you know, oh, what I mean? that's good. We have a Patreon question actually, which is you know in this topic. So it's from Jane Pickering from the Patreon. If you want to submit a question, patreoncom slash mechanic That's the Jane only way. Pickering. How do I know that name? I don't know. She's a big comedy fan. Oh, yeah, boom. Yeah, I do. Oh, nice. Sick. Yeah, I just saw the profile picture there. And I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want to submit, me on if you want, if you want yeah. to submit, the only way is patreon.com slash mechanic. Now, the question is do you have any snakes or kangaroo stories for us? Is that what they say, right? I think so. No, crocodile? Yes, yeah. Crocodile, is it? Okay. <laughs> is it? What are you all about? I can't see with these glasses, bro. <laughs> no, nobody's making you wear them, I tell you. I told you, bro, it's part of the stick. It is, the yeah. Stick. yeah. No, You're okay. still claiming that cataract this? doll. <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroos, snakes, and crocodile stories. Yeah, we'll do the whole thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, you have no, well, well, that's the thing because before I went, um, uh, my granddad was like, "Oh, you gotta like, like mm. knock out your boots yeah, so yeah, there's yeah. no spiders in them." Jesus. And I'm like, "I'm in the city." What do you mm. think's happening? You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, it's a first world country and that. Oh, yeah. It's when you go out. So, like, I've been on hikes and that where it's Ooh, like... Ooh, that's no, dangerous, no, though. No, never crocodile. I haven't seen a crocodile because I don't think that... I don't think that as wild as you think. They're probably, like, all in, like, the Steve Irwin fucking mm. enclosures and all that sort Just of chilling, stuff. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah chilling, li li living the governor. I have to retire now, crocodiles, yeah. I feel like. They got very you know Florida I mean? vibes, crocodiles. Oh, for sure, they're yeah, playing exactly. They're always on golf well, courses yeah, and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Old people shit, innit? For sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've only got a few teeth. They're you know what I mean? Stuff. Like that yeah, sort of they, stuff. Yeah, they don't yeah. fuck about. They go to bed early. Their skin early. is like oh, yeah, very so leathery. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And they're literally made yeah. out of leather. Yeah, <laughs> because the sun's hit them and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, they're slow it's and like stuff. Fucking yeah. People in like oh, people that live in Benidorm now, they got the same skin as crocodiles. Have for you sure. ever? If, have you ever seen a crocodile try to catch you know like his prey and stuff? The way it opens its mouth is so slow. It's like ah, uh, like you know what I mean? Because like a lion or whatever, they'll just jump like yeah, that. Quick. But they're like so. There was like a video of I don't know a fish or something, and the crocodile. Barely closes, you know, mouth, oh, yeah. and the fish escaped. And he's just like, ah. he just gave up. And he just, he's just like, ah, fuck no it. Work ethic. He's just like, ah, fuck it. That they're literally old people, bro. They don't care. They're just like, ah. he's like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just eat some golf balls. Yes, I'm gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> some golf balls. Gonna die now, you know. Um, kangaroos. <laughs> I have, I, I've been close to that. I, I, I've been staunched by one before, like mm. staunched by a kangaroo, wow, like in the wild. Really? It came out of nowhere. Jesus. And I, I went up to his like baby or whatever the fuck they're called, like. Fucking what a baby kangaroos got to uh, Joey's or something. Joey's, like yeah. Them. yeah that's weird, um, and and, and <laughs> so I went up to that and then that came out of nowhere and it was kind of like staunching me. Like it went up on its really? high like that. How tall were they? And I just started walking back slowly. I was with me bit. Oh, that was like the baby was like your height. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and the adult was my height, yeah. <laughs> But then on its hind legs, it would have been like sort of seven foot easy. What? Yeah. So it kind of done that. That's we terrifying. We walked back slowly. So we were like, that what is... the fuck? But where um, did you see him? Where did you see that kangaroo? So this was like, I was with I was with my ex. We went to like, it wasn't that far out of Sydney, maybe a two hour drive. You know what I mean? Like you, mm, you see them in my okay. mum's mom, house. They're wild. They're just walking around really? the roads and that. You see more dead ones on the side of the road because you can't Jeez. even, in certain places, you can't even drive for night. 
because kangaroos, they're just fucking idiots. They're jumping across and all that. Yeah. And if you hit one of them, that goes through the windscreen, you're dead. You know what I mean? Like, that, what? That's, that, that's six foot, weighs Jesus. like 200 pounds or whatever. That's, that's coming. Yeah. The big trucks, obviously, the 16 wheelers, yeah, they just yeah. fucking nail them. Wah, wah. You know, yeah, exactly. They <laughs> nail them. You know what I mean? Um, but if you're in a car, if that comes through the... Yeah, you're fucked. Like, you're dead straight away. That yeah. is wild. Yeah. I, I read today, just randomly popped up, that there's more kangaroos in Australia than people. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you can you can oh, fact that's check this. True. But that's true because that's Australia insane. doesn't use the middle of the country. Yeah, that's all inhabitants. That's all kangaroo land, isn't it? Wow. We use it's it just it's just all around the country, mm. uh, around the um, by the water. Yeah, it's literally so yeah. hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. All the indigenous people still live there, like Eris Rock, because they've they're used to that climate. The, yeah. You know what I mean? They're uh-huh. from there and all that. Oh, that's um, interesting. That. So, what yeah. is the view? towards kangaroos because for us I think they're like oh they're so cute they're so nice but I think Australians they kind of hate them don't they? They, they they literally I think they see them as like a bit of vermin you know what I mean you can legally mm. kill kangaroos like on really? a farm you know what I mean because they, they're overpopulated wow. they kill they, they like the, the fuck I think they're fucking with like you know what I mean like the the food chain not the food chain but you know what I mean like yeah, the, the, yeah eating the, the sheep more of nature's yeah, way yeah, of life yeah, yeah exactly wow, yeah. What the fuck? so it's like could it eat that then that thing's meant to eat that so that thing doesn't get eaten you know what I mean like the K-toad effect or whatever the fuck mm. um and yeah, so, so so they're like, I, I mean, obviously the fucking people, look, it's big tourist. So you, 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 pencil cases, flags, posters, all that sort of, t-shirts with it, all that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? So they, they're pushing it in terms of that. But I mean, if, if, if you're actually a proper Australian in the middle of nowhere, yeah, yeah. I think you're shooting them fucking every day. Yeah. Or I've like seen that, like yeah. fences and stuff in the middle of the desert, like tall fences, like electric fences to keep the kangaroos out. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah, they're eating crops and all that and just fucking, fucking them, shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, never, never anything too bad with that. I got lucky with that. Um, like I've ran towards them before, thinking they'd run away and they just stood there like, what the they fuck They were like, come on, lad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, think like, oh, you're fucking, yo, yeah. you think you're tough, lad? <laughs> exactly. I'll take you, mate. Literally, a scouse kangaroo. Yeah. I love that lad, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, fucking go, lad. What are you on about? Yeah. <laughs> you seen these fires, lad? I've been in the gym all day, me. <laughs> I'm on the protein, me, lad. <laughs> oh, we did 40 then, minutes. Oh, Jacob, they with you for? Oh, hold on. Okay, so listen, we have to wrap up. We're doing uh, Patreon. We'll continue the stories on the Patreon. Okay. Patreon.com slash mechanic. Before we go, thank you so much for being here. Plug anything Thanks you want to plug. Us, and let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, LeBron James of comedy on Instagram. That's all I need to plug because I'm pumping videos. A new video every day. A new riff every day, literally. Like, I mean, I've got me made in Australia. This lad who, who fucking, I'm paying him to subtitle him. Follow me on that. Um, and then the I Want to Meet LeBron James podcast as well. If you like the comedy basketball. It's pretty much just me telling me, telling everybody all the bets I've lost and shit like that. But in a funny way. You know what I mean? And then, and then we talk about ideas and that. It's a laugh, yeah. See you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. <laughs>